scikit-learn tip number 48. Want to operate on part of a pipeline instead of the whole thing? Slice it using Python slicing notation. Okay, this is a bit of an advanced tip, but follow along with me and I think you'll see how it can come in handy. We've got a three-step pipeline in which the first step is a column transformer that does our pre-processing. The second step is a feature selection object. And the third step is a classifier. I've printed out the pipeline diagram and you can see the same three steps. Preprocessor, feature selector, and classifier. Now back in tip 13, I talked about how you can examine a pipeline step by using the named steps attribute. For example, if you wanted to see the logistic regression coefficients, you could fit the pipeline, select that step, and then select its coef attribute. However, sometimes that is not enough. Sometimes you need to actually interact with one or more pipeline steps and run their methods. And that's what we're going to do in this tip. Here's our first example. Let's say you wanted to know how many feature columns are output by the first pipeline step, which is a column transformer. You can select the first step by using pipe bracket zero, and then run the fit transform method on that step. And we can see that the output matrix contains 1,512 feature columns, which is what we wanted to know. This operation works because column transformer has a fit transform method, and if you select this step only, you can run any of the column transformer's methods. Here's our second example. Let's say you wanted to know how many features were selected by the feature selection step. To figure that out, you would select the first two steps using Python's regular slicing notation and then run fit transform on that two-step pipeline. We can see that 756 of the 1,512 features were selected by the feature selection step. In case you were wondering, we passed both X and Y to fit transform because the feature selection process requires knowledge of the target values. Here's our final example. Let's say you wanted to know which 756 features were selected by the feature selection step. To figure that out, you would select the feature selection step using bracket notation and then run its git support method, which returns a Boolean array of length 1512. That array includes a true for every feature which was selected and a false for every feature which was removed. You could then use this array to filter down the 1,512 features and see which ones were selected. So those are just a few examples of how you can interact with one or more steps of a pipeline.